Friends, you are going to love this Argentinian style skirt steak served up with the best homemade chimichurri sauce. The combination of juicy and smoky meat with fresh and vibrant herbs is what summertime grilling and entertaining is all about. I personally love this recipe because you've got plenty of meat to serve the masses. Skirt steak is a budget-friendly cut of meat. The chimichurri sauce is just amazing and bursting with flavor, and the whole thing is done in less than 30 minutes. So let me show you how to make it. You guys already know that I'm a big fan of fresh herbs, so it should come as no surprise that I'm kind of obsessed with chimichurri sauce. I first enjoyed authentic chimichurri sauce years ago in Argentina as I was popping my way down to Antarctica. And I have to tell you, the beauty of this sauce is that it's so simple to make with just a handful of ingredients, but it's all about using the right ingredients and chopping everything up by hand rather than using a food processor. Flat leaf parsley forms the bulk of the chimichurri and you'll need about a half a cup of finely chopped parsley. The next ingredient is oregano and you can use dried or fresh. It's probably more common to find dried oregano used in South America, but since I had fresh oregano on hand, I'm using that today. If you're using fresh, you'll need about a tablespoon of finely chopped oregano, and if you're using dried, you'll need about one teaspoon. For a little heat, you can use either a small red chili pepper or dried red chili pepper flakes. I like using the fresh pepper for a vibrant pop of red to contrast with the green chimichurri, but again, either works just fine. If you're using a fresh chili pepper, remove the seeds and finely chop about a tablespoon's worth. And if you're using dried, start with a half a teaspoon and you can always add more if you'd like. Next up is three to four cloves of garlic. And while it's fine to use dried spices for the oregano and chili pepper, definitely use fresh garlic rather than garlic powder. The flavor is just far superior. And while I'll often use my garlic mincer to mince garlic straight into recipes, definitely chop the garlic with a knife for the best texture here. The whole point of chopping everything by hand is to keep the ingredients similar in size. Many chimichurri recipes will show a shortcut by blending everything in a food processor, but that makes for a more homogenous sauce, similar to a pesto, and it's just not very authentic. Once you've got all those ingredients chopped up and added to a mixing bowl, add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. With herbs, aromatics, and fat in the bowl, all that's left is the acid, and you'll need two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Lastly, add half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a pinch of freshly ground black pepper, then stir it all up. Chimichurri should be a loose sauce with distinct herbs and bits of flavor. As you might imagine, it's even better after it's had time to meld together for a bit. So right now, just pour that into a little bowl and set it aside. Okay, let's talk skirt steak. You'll need about one and a half pounds of skirt steak for this recipe, and make sure that you do bring it to room temperature from the fridge. Skirt steak is a long, lean, and flat cut of meat that has an intensely beefy flavor. I'd say even more so than flank steak. But similar to flank steak, it can be a bit tough, so it's best cooked quickly over a high heat grill and then sliced against the grain for the most tender slices. Because skirt steak has such great flavor all on its own, you don't need to do a lot to prep this piece of meat. Just a generous sprinkle of kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper does the trick. And make sure to season both sides. Heat either an outdoor grill or an indoor grill pan to medium high heat, and then brush the grate or pan with a little avocado oil or other high heat oil to prevent sticking. When you lay the meat on the hot grill, you should definitely hear the sizzle, which confirms that your grill was indeed nice and hot. Use your tongs to smush the meat down and make sure there's good contact on the heat source. You'll only need to cook the meat for about three to four minutes on each side to get a nice medium cooked piece of meat. Once your skirt steak is cooked to your liking, remove it from the grill and let it rest on a cutting board for a few minutes. Then slice the meat against the grain. The thinner outer edges may be a bit more charred, and I just love those crispy bits. And the inside will be nice and pink and juicy. Continue slicing the entire skirt steak up and then transfer it to a serving plate. And I like to turn some of the pieces on their side so that more of the interior color shows and people can select the pieces that are either more raw or more well done. Add the bowl of chimichurri sauce to the plate and then drizzle heaping amounts of the sauce all over the steak. 
The vibrant green herbs contrast so beautifully with the perfectly pink meat, and it's seriously magical how just a handful of fresh ingredients in the chimichurri can take the skirt steak to the next level. If you want a grilling recipe that's sure to impress with very little effort, it's always this skirt steak recipe with a homemade chimichurri sauce. And for presentation, I always love to add a few fresh parsley leaves to the plate to green it up even more and nod to the flavor profile in the sauce. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with the grill masters in your family, and I will see you again in the next video.